and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dennis and here is my assistant Bob who always helps us with really tough questions. In this video you'll find everything about in-text citation. Coming up in this video. So how do I quote other people's work in my text? There are different ways how to do that. So first of all, there are different expressions. For example, you can start saying something like, according to court of 2018, and then you move on with uh, either a quotation or the paraphrase of what court of says. Or you can say something like, uh, court of suggests that, or court of points out that, or as court of found in his study, and then you move on. So abundance of expressions are there that you can use. But what do I do if there are two authors? How do I quote? So basically, how do I cite the two authors? If you have two authors, you include all the names or rather surnames. For example, uh, Goldcat and Grinovsky 2019 argue that and you move on with uh, what they argue. So you don't just put the first surname if there are two authors. So you don't say uh, Goldcat 2019. So it's, it's important that you include two names. But what should you do if there are more than two surnames? If there are more than two authors, should you put three or four surnames if there are four people writing a uh, particular paper? In this case, we have this magical word, which is at all, which means and others. For example, you can say something like Abrams et al. Full stop comma and then you put the dates, for example 2019. So this is when it comes only in text citation. So basically when you write your main text and you uh, put the argument by Abrams and others. But in the reference section, however, you should put all the names that have written the paper. For example, um, in the text, you would put Abrams et al. 2009, but in the reference list, in the reference section, you would put Abrams J, full stop, uh, Barker V, full stop, and Giles, comma, H, 2009. That's the date of publication. Then you put all the information according to the different uh, referencing, referencing styles. If you have missed the video which I made on the referencing, please go and Take a look at it. And we also have secondary referencing. What does that mean? Well, basically, secondary references are used when you refer to the work of the author mentioned in another author's work. For example, if you're reading Sharikov's paper uh, and he refers to Kittendorf's study and you don't find Kittendorf's paper anywhere, but you need to refer to Kittendorf's study, then you should say something like, according to Kittendorf 1996, and then you have this magical word cited in Sharikov 2002. And then you move on with what Kittendorf said in his study. You may resort to secondary referencing for a number of different reasons. For example, the sources are not available, destroyed, or you don't possess your library, your university library doesn't possess the book. So when citing such work, the author of the primary source and the author of the work it was cited in should be used. And of course it goes without saying that both works must be cited, must be present in the reference section. But if possible, try to avoid using secondary referencing and always try to find the original work. So use it only when there is a really high necessity to do so. So far so good. The next question is when do I have to indicate the page number of the work that I have used in my text? So page numbers of the relevant quote should be given for direct quotes. For example, according to Zabalov, academic writing is an inextricable part of one's academic growth. As you can see, there are quotation marks and basically you copy the exact words that Zubalov mentioned in his 2014 paper. 
So basically, you're not allowed to change anything uh, that has been printed on paper. So basically, you just copy the exact words. And here you indicate the page number. And we call this direct quote. But there are also indirect quotes. Let me give you an example. Zubalov 2014, and I provide the page number here. So Zubalov argues that academic writing is an essential component for one's growth in academia. So what do you notice here? First, there are no quotation marks, right? Right. And second, so I have just rephrased the sentence slightly. But still, we do include the page number here. Why? Because I refer to a very specific idea that Zubalov has uh, pointed out in his work and wanted to convey to his audience. But when we don't include the page number, for example, Zubalov 2014, and then you move on. So page number is not required, only in cases when you would like to refer to the whole book as such, or you need to refer to a general idea uh, that the author is trying to convey, or a particular study conducted by someone. So some useful life hacks, some useful information for you in academic writing. Don't use footnotes for literature citation. So use footnotes only for uh, additional information or additional remarks which don't fit in the body of your main text. I know that there are different citation styles that do allow or re actually require to use citations in your footnotes. Then that's fine. And also don't try to overuse direct quotes. You know it doesn't look nice when you have a lot of quotation marks in your text and your text also loses the strength to pursue your audience. So basically what you have to do, try to provide an interpretation of the quote and also show why you use this quote. Basically, a quote should support your argument or whatever you're trying to convey to your audience. Keep calm and quote wisely. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.